Hi guys, and welcome to February's edition of BoxyCharm! Okay, so my first product I'm going to be trying is from Evio Skin Aurora. These cleansing hemp wipes. Um, they are biodegradable, multitasking Evio Skin Aurora wipes are made with hemp fibers to cleanse skin, remove waterproof makeup, and keep skin hydrated. The antibacterial wipes are infused with cannabis sativa seed oil to reduce inflammation and avoid irritation. And these only retail for 10 bucks, which is a lot cheaper than I thought they would, but let's try these out. One of the good things about a cleansing wipe is that you don't have to wash anything off because usually when you use a cleanser, you have to like rinse it all off. But this is perfect because it's all in one. It's like you literally just wipe your face and you're done. So I forgot to introduce this earlier, but I'm going to be trying out the facial radiant pads from First Aid Beauty. A little bit about the First Aid Beauty facial radiance pads is that it's a daily treatment pad that contains the right amount of lactate and glycolic acids to safely effectively and exfoliate tone and brighten all skin types regular use of these pads will smooth the skin texture providing a perfect canvas for flawless makeup application and this retails for 16 dollars As you can see, it definitely removed some excess dirt I had on my skin, which is perfect because before you apply your makeup, you gotta make sure your skin is nice and clean. Next product I'm going to be testing out is from Kate Somerville. It's a, it's called KX Active Concentrates Bio Mimicking Peptides Serum. Came in this little box right here, and this is the actual container it comes in. Uh, Kate specifically, formulated this highly active concentrate to transform dull, saggy skin into visibly firmer, smoother, refreshed looking skin. After just one week, 97% of women reported that their skin appeared visibly tighter. Well, all right then. And uh, I think you should get BoxyCharm if you really wanna try the serum, you know why? Because it retails for 98 bucks and I don't think you wanna pay that. I think you'd rather pay 25, right? Mm-hmm. Well, let's give this a shot. Gosh, what is that smell? Kind of, it de definitely does have a scent, but I honestly can't tell you what it is. It almost, it almost kind of smells like pears, <laughs> but I feel like anyone else would think otherwise, but that's like the first thought that came into my head when I smelled it. Hmm. Okay, definitely has that glowing effect, which I love. Okay, looks like it, it seems like it would be perfect to apply also right before your makeup. Gives it that tacky feeling so the foundation can stick easily. The next products I'm going to be trying out are these complexion brushes from Alamar Cosmetics. It's a trio. This vegan and cruelty-free three-piece brush set comes complete with a complexion brush, bronzer, and brightening brush suitable for all types of skin, delivering a flawless finish. They retail for $36. So I forgot to use the complexion brush to apply my foundation, so I'm just gonna use it to apply my concealer. I'm gonna move on to one of my next products before I continue with the rest of the brushes. Uh, I also received a setting powder, thank God, because I'm, I just ran, I just ran out of my, um, one of my setting powders. I can't even think of the name right now, but I ran out, and thankfully, BoxyCharm hooked it up with this wonderful Ciate London uh, Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. I got it right here. I'm just having some difficulties opening the blocks but hold on a moment, got it. Okay, this beautiful packaging right here from Ciate. Um, lock in your makeup for a long lasting wear with Ciate London's Everyday Vacay 
coconut setting powder, delicately coconut fragrance to take you back to your beach vacay every day. This finely milled and lightweight loose powder smooths over makeup for a crease-free soft focus finish with no flashback. That's good to know because that's one of the reasons why I don't always like to bake because I hate the flashback. It just looks really bad and it doesn't suit nobody. It retails for $20, $22. To protect it from spilling, it has like this plastic cover that you really have to undo. So if you have if you have like long nails or whatever, be very careful you don't break your nails. Or if you have no nails at all, I'd recommend maybe getting some scissors and poking at these little dots here. I'll be back. Finally, got it. Ugh, there we go. Gonna just dust it right here. And gonna go in with my Real Techniques sponge. Just gonna set this concealer. Yeah, you barely smell anything. Like it said, it is lightly fragranced. I don't even, like I just said, I don't smell anything. It doesn't even, I can't smell the coconut at all, which I was kind of hoping I, oh wait, there it is. <laughs> Never mind, I smell it now. It's it's not that strong though. Just gonna, I'm really hoping this doesn't leave a white streak. While this is setting, I'm gonna go in with my It's My Ray Ray palette and use the bronzer in that using this bronzer brush that I got in this month's Boxy Charm. I like how firm this is. Oh, I like the little detail right here. You can see that. I wonder if there's any benefit to that, but we will find out. Okay, so yeah, with this, you don't even have to like brush it on, just like, just press it on. Okay, might use it. I might use this for my blush too. Okay, so now I'm going to dust this off. I noticed my right side kind of absorbed it a little bit. I left this on the entire time that I was doing my eyeshadow and mascara and eyeliner. So that took about like a little less than 10 minutes. Really left a nice finish. I mean, I'm looking in the camera and it kind of looks a little whiter in person, but in the mirror that I'm looking in front of, it kind of, I feel like it looks fine. So I don't know if it's just the camera or what. I'm gonna use this brush for my blush. <laughs> brush blush, I'm like. Mm. Okay, maybe I won't use this for blush again, but bronzer, yes. I'm gonna go in with my Pretty Bulgur. I'm gonna actually give my brush a spritz because I already get the feeling this is not gonna show up. The final look um my thoughts on this <laughs> it was my own bad for not remembering to use this for my foundation the complexion brush i ended up using it for my concealer don't know if i'd recommend using this for the concealer it kind of took away from it a little bit i like to usually when i blend my concealer out i like to use something a little more dense and stiff because it i just feel like it covers my uh, dark circles and creases better when when it's stiff, when it's more flimsy like this is, it kind of moved it all over the place and you could still see my like dark circles and stuff. However, I would say that the setting powder definitely prevented them from appearing. Like I just, I made sure to apply it immediately after I put my concealer on. And I think that definitely did it justice. Otherwise, yeah, it wouldn't really have looked good. Um, also, I just don't really like using flimsy brushes for foundation. 
Um, some pe It may work for some people, it doesn't work for me. I feel like it gets all over the place and I feel like if anything, it takes away from your foundation. It absorbs most of it. But I feel like when you use something more dense, it packs on everything much better and rarely ever soaks the product up. So that's really my only criticism about the box or about the products in the box. Um, the facial radiance pads were great. The cleansing wipes were good. And I did like the setting powder a lot. I actually feel like it doesn't look too white. Um, I'm looking at it on camera right now and it kind of looks a little brighter, but I don't know. Person, it doesn't look that white, so that's good. Um, not a bad box this month, BoxyCharm. Good for you. Uh, I notice I've been getting a lot more skincare, which is not a bad thing because skincare is just as important as makeup, if I'm being completely honest. Well, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.